Hello and welcome to this 2K Sports presentation of the WNBA. Tonight we'll see the Dallas Wings as they play against the Indiana Fever. This is Blake Suniga alongside Tim Schwartz and Brian Benefitemi, and we're excited for some 2K hoops. What are your expectations for this game with two of the league's elite guards going at it? I think it's going to be very fun watching these players try to outsmart each other. A battle in the backcourt can kind of be like a chess match. Yeah, but don't be too surprised if we see some physicality. They'll do whatever it takes to get the edge. Now here's Agumba Wale. There's a screen by McCowan. Here's Gray. Oh. Alicia Gray won a national championship with the final game played in Dallas. And just a few days later, Gray was selected fourth overall by, guessed it, Dallas. And this is her first free throw of the game. She knocks down the first one. Yeah, in Gray's first season, she actually led all rookies in points scored per game, and she was simply effective right from the start. And so she hits both. Here's Mitchell. Pass to Smith. Back to Mitchell. Out to the right wing. Clock at six. Screen by Smith. From deep. A shot by Mitchell. No good. You can tell she thought that triple was going to fall. She's just shaking her head after that miss. Now Gumbawale. Back to Mabry. From downtown, it's hauled in by Smith. Mitchell outside, pass to Henderson. Shoots over Agumba Wale. A nice shot by Henderson. Look at Henderson striking from mid range. Nice, smooth release on the shot. Outside Agumba Wale. McCowan. Mabry up top. Outside, Agumba Wale. Puts up a three. They get the rebound. Back to Mabry. Agumba Wale. Screen by McCowan. Clock at four. The tray. Offensive rebound. Well, it was only a matter of time. They finally get the bucket. What an absolute force McCowan is down low. The board, the points, what a talent. Smith outside. Pass to Henderson. Mitchell left side. Henderson. And there's the pick. Cowan. A nice shot by Henderson. Well, here's where Henderson is so difficult to defend. Great burst off the screen, right into her shot. Outside Mabry. Sadly the screen. Back to Gumbawale. Gray over Mitchell. She sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Well, perhaps the D was focusing too much on Ogunbunwale. Maybe that's why she found a, a wide open teammate. Pass to Mitchell. Over Mabry. The shot, no good. And Dallas the other way now. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Outside, Agumawale. Shoots over Henderson. 
And too long on the shot. We don't see that too often. Plenty of space, and she whiffs on an open jumper. While the end of the last decade was pretty rough for Indiana, they were one of the best teams in the league from 2009 to 2015, making it to at least the Eastern Conference Finals in uh, five of those seven seasons. Now here's Mitchell. Smith, guarded by Savoli. Smith, no good. Outside, Agunmawale. Down low. McCowan with the bucket. Going back a few years for the Fever, during that 2009 to 2015 run, they were one of the elite organizations in the league. Absolutely. Reaching three WNBA finals, including winning it all in 2012. I am sure that Fever fans are itching for those glory days again. Now here's Mitchell. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. From the yard. A rebound by Gray. Dallas in the lead. Marina Mabry on the wing. Outside, Agumba Wale. Pass to McCowan. Mabry. Outside, Agumba Wale. Let's it go from deep. Third time is not the charm. 0 for 3 from the floor. Now here's Henderson. Mabry covering. Here's Mitchell. Tries to snap the cold streak. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. You know, once she gets a step on you, Mitchell uses her body well to get to the line. Hard to stop the crafty lefty. And first trip to the free throw line for her in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And she makes the first. Well, for the last several seasons, the Wings have been a young team, searching for a solid core, making a lot of high draft picks. That one misses, so she goes one for two. And for this Dallas Wings organization, they're hoping the investment in youth pays off. I think it will. You know, they're building things the right way here in Dallas and not taking any shortcuts. This is going to be a fun team to watch for years and years. Got a piece of it. Agundawale from long range. Rebounded by Vivians. Hard to figure out why she didn't bury that one. Not a defender near her. to Robinson. Soft touch off the glass. Well under six feet. Danielle Robinson doesn't care about her height. She can score from everywhere, including down low. Now here's Harris. Thornton. And that'll be Dallas's ball as it goes out of bounds. Wings able to keep the ball here. The Wings making a switch here. From the inbound, and the three ball is good. Most jump shooters prefer to shoot off the pass, not the dribble. Thornton, no different. Outside, Vivians. Angsler the screen. On the wing, Emily Angsler. They waste no time getting those three points back. Well, it's nice to see Angsler knock the triple down because when she does this, the floor really opens up. Harris in the screen. To the paint. Great pass to set up the land. She made that pass to a spot and let her teammate run right into it. That is how you distribute the basketball. Now here's Hole. Back to Robinson. 
Pass to Angsler. Her shot is good, making her a perfect two for two from the floor. Nice read by Robinson. Saw the defense was giving her the pass. She uh, dished it off, and it leads to a hoop. Now here's Harris. Cole defending. Harris in the screen. Harris can't hit. Well, you have to like the look of the boards here in the first. Yeah, coming out of the gates with great energy. You kind of like they got shot out of a cannon. They're really setting the tone. Boom. Now here's Hole. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Six to shoot. Pass to Vivians. Over Thornton. They grab their own miss. That go, no good. Those chances, usually they're two points for her. The D, I guess, did just a, enough to bother her. Here's Collier, covered by Vivians. Count it. Oh, good. In this pick and roll action, you have to track Collier. She's too good to lose. Outside Vivians. Pass to Egbo. Now hold. Now here's Robinson. And here's Hole. Victoria Vivian's on the wing. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. To the inside, Harrison. And good, coming off the assist by Kayla Thornton. And Thornton is such a smart player. Recognizes overcommitments from the defense and gets it to her open teammates. Going all in, that was the 2K drive, and it's well worth the second look. Well, as an offensive player, you always want to put pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Now here's Vivians. Pass to Robinson. Lexi Hole on the wing. Takes the three. Connects from three-point range. A textbook feed to Hall, who was all set up, ready to shoot. Thornton outside. Now Harris. Inside. Harrison gets the bucket. Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. Now here's Vivians. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Pass to Collier. Another shot. Misses at the rim. And so the first quarter in the book. Wings out in front. They lead by four. And we'll be back right after this. Second about to get underway. And looking at what we've seen from the wings, what do you guys think? A lot of shots in close from them early. Good sign. It's a lot easier to get buckets inside, and they've done that through one. Here's Hole. Smith outside. Now here's Hole. She's tightly guarded. And here's Kelsey Mitchell for three. Pass to Smith. Oh. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's going to go on Tierra McCowan. Well, there's the pressure that Smith puts on opponents when Melissa gets the ball down low. It is so tough to stop her. Well, Melissa Smith is certainly proud of her roots. Growing up in Converse, Texas, about 15 miles north of San Antonio, which is an area that was loaded with future WNBA talent. And that one misses. And talking about that San Antonio area, it had multiple future WNBA pros, including Melissa Smith. Yes, yeah, Smith played on travel teams with the future top five pick, Chelsea Dungy. Keanu Williams, who has played in the league a bit as well, was on those teams. Nalissa shining the brightest on that team of stars. That one misses. 
Well, it's still in her career. Lots of room for Delissa Smith to grow, and that's scary. Outside, Agun Mawale. Pass to Sabali. Just her first attempt. Yep, that goes. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they keep allowing easy looks inside. Smith outside. Back to Mitchell. Henderson. Screen by Smith. Five on the clock. Takes it from 10. That one's in her first basket of the game. She is one for two. If you don't really box Smith out, put a body on her, she'll do that to you all night. Outside, Agumawale. Here's McCowan. And she uses a glass on the layup. They own the paint right now, 10 straight coming from the inside. They are constantly finding lanes to the hoop, getting great looks in tight. Here's Cannon. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Smith, right side. There's the three. That's in there. Kelsey Mitchell with the assist. Selective in when she takes threes. Smith is effective from deep, and that really helps his team with spacing. Outside, Mabry. From outside the arc. Dallas gets it back. Back to Goomba Wale. Knocks down the three ball. Fantastic dish from McCowan. Easy hoop for the team. Love it when a center can move the ball. Pass to Cannon. Mitchell. Screen by Smith. Shot by Mitchell. No good. The D was ready for her that time, and they had to be. She is strong in the paint. Left side, Agumba Wale. Back to Gray. Mabry. Off target with the three. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last play. Yeah, I and mean, he's got to be better as a coach. You can't stand seeing her having that much space to get her shot off. Well, basketball is life in the state of Indiana, from high school to college to pro. They just love the game at every level in the Hoosier State. What's up? Playing in basketball crazed Indiana, the Fever have a great following, and you'd expect nothing less. Yeah, for sure. These fans are awesome. They're loud, and they really know the game. Indianapolis has to be one of the best stops in the entire league. Now here's Gray. There's Agumbo Wale with the three. That one, no good. Yeah, the great shooters, they know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice there. Yeah, not very good defensive coverage that time. The team got lucky. Mitchell, right side. Pass to Smith. This one for three. McCowan with the rebound. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game. And yep, it's good. Upload that one online. Ogaman Wale flashing some sick moves. Plus she gets to the hoop. Timeout, timeout. Now a timeout called by Indiana. Well, during her college days, Arike Ogumbawale burst onto the national scene back in 2017 after hitting the game-winning shot in the college tournament semifinal.
Montana with the ball. Trailing by five. Smith outside. To the middle. Kicks it out to Mitchell. The three ball drops in the tray. They're having uh, more success from three-point range here in the second after a very rough first quarter from deep. Pass to Sabali. Ray. Outside, Agumawale. And the layup falls. She's coming to life after a slow start in the first quarter. Here's the fever with the ball. Yeah, four-point game. Now Smith, guarded by Sabali. Smith inside. Sabali's there. Pass to Mitchell. Henderson. Down to five on the shot clock. Smith with it. Guarded by Sabali. Shots good by Smith. Her scoring this quarter has been off the charts, doing all she can to bring them back. Here's McCowan. And out of bounds, the Fever will take it. Both teams deciding to change it up. Now here's Robinson. Victoria Vivian's on the wing, covered by Thornton. outside Robinson and she hits it to tie up the game yeah that's great ball movement by Kelsey Mitchell finds a way to get it to her open teammate back to Gumbawale three pointer gets it to go from downtown well after failing to hit a three pointer in the first quarter she's already got two here in the second outside Vivian's Pass to Robinson. Inside. Egbo gets the bucket. That's their third straight make off an assist. And it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball movement. Now here is Thornton. Collier with it. Harris with it. Six on the shot clock. Let's the three fly. The Fever pull it in. Outside Robinson. Ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Kayla Thornton. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Terrific effort from Harris on that play. Doesn't back down and draws the foul. It's her first trip to the line. Two shots. The first free throw is good. The wings making a switch here. That's also good, so she hits them both. Indiana trailing. Outside Vivians, back to Robinson. Pass to Angsler. Ooh, no luck on that one. Isabel Harrison with some nice D. It's Burton. Robinson covering. Dallas gets it back. For three, Kayla Thornton. The shot that time, not on target. Now here 
Here's Hole, covered by Harris. And here is Robinson, missed inside. Here's Harris. Picked by Thornton. Harris can't hit. Now Robinson has to hold. Vivians. And it's good. The game is all even. Nice ball movement from Hull. Terrific at recognizing when her teammates are open. Here's Dallas now. Now here's Harris. Harrison. She's guarded by Anksler. And here's Burton. Thornton outside. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. A solid shooter from downtown. When Thornton gets daylight, she doesn't waste it. Pass to hole. Back to Robinson. Just five on the clock. And she can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Now here's Harris. Defense right on her. The three-pointer, no good. Now here's Robinson. Good on the bucket. Harris with it. And if they play the clock right, they can go two for one. Just got to time it up right. Pass to Collier. Unloads from nine. And there are the wings with another bucket. With fantastic touch around the rim. Collier automatic down low. Outside, Robinson. Now hold. Fires for three. No good that time. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. It's the Wings. They lead by three. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter after the break. back the second half about to get underway and it's been a close one so far Arike Agumbawale with a strong contribution so far in this one I know we've said it about a million times already but I'll say it again he's had a great half scored a lot of points and in the end I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half she had she can usually keep it going for all four quarters the third quarter are now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Pass to Smith. Fades back. Here's Cannon. And she battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Where was the box out? Some easy second chance points. Those kinds of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. Now here's Mabry. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Well, after averaging just four points per game as a rookie, Marina Mabry was traded to Dallas prior to the 2020 season. And let me tell you, that move kick-started her career. And here's Agunbawale. Pass to McCowan. And here's Mabry. She's covered by Mitchell. 
Zabali the screen. Cowan. And no good. The Fever leading. Henderson with it. Back to Smith. Here's Henderson. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. For three. Buries it from three-point range. And since being traded in 2020, Marina Mabry has really stepped up her game. Now more than doubling her scoring average, Mabry's become an elite three-point shooter. Plus, Marina's really rounded out the other part of her game. So really taking on more of a, a playmaking role. Now here's Sabal. Trills the three-pointer. And she answers right back with a three of her own. Oh, my. They're getting into it. We have got a duel shaping up right now. Here's Smith. It's a one-point game. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. From deep three-point range. Satu Sabali comes up with the board. She has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it really hasn't affected the team that much. Now here is McCowan. She's got six. Pass to Mabry. Back to McCowan. The basket good off the assist from Marina Mabry. Well, Mabry has a pretty sharp passing game. She won't let an open shot go to waste. Now that is nice. Glad we got a chance to check out that sweet drive one more time. And in a tight one like this, you got to dig deep. Find a way to make things happen. Here's Henderson. Now here's Mitchell, Mabry covering. Floats one, Mitchell shots good. The soft touch from Mitchell on full display right there. Showing some pizzazz with the silky floater. Dallas calls timeout. Defense the Fever. They lead by one. Now here's a Gumbawale. Covered by Henderson. Rena Mabry for three. And again, it's the wings from deep. A player who knows their role. If a teammate sets up Mabry, she's got the green light to fire. Smith outside. Mitchell outside. To the wing on the left. Here's Henderson. The offensive rebound. Smith makes the bucket. She's now got five field goals, five for eight on the game. With how young she is, it's incredible to see how well-rounded Smith is offensively. Gray outside. From past the arc. Dallas gets it back. She gets that one. Well, Sobley has a real nose for the boards. She gets the rebound and sends it right back up and in. 
Marshall outside, down low. And the shot is good. Those two points, almost a sure thing when they're able to get the ball inside to that position. Now Mabry. Pass to Sabali. Outside of Gumbawale. Off target from outside. Back to Smith. Here's Mitchell. Here's Henderson. Guarded now by Agumbawale. Henderson shot is off. Now here's Gray. Seven points in the game. Outside Agumbawale. Shot clock at six. Shoots the three. And the rebound goes to the Fever. Some of the shots she's taken today have been absolute head scratchers. She's out there playing like it's a game of horse, and it's not. Oh, man, there's really been a change in her game compared to what we saw in the first half because she's just scoring with a lot of confidence now. Mitchell on the double team. Gray outside. Argun Bawale. To the inside. Here's McCowan. That one falls coming up. Arike Agumbawale's nice beam. Obviously, McCowan's 6'7 size helps her down low, but she also has a little host of ways to beat you in some nice touch. Now a timeout called by Indiana. The fever ball. Pass to hole. Egbo. Outside Vivians. Now Robinson. And now Egbo. Two points. That one goes in. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize this team. Well, they better rally soon. They've given up three straight buckets in the paint. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Charlie Collier. That's her first foul. The Fever leading. Hall covered by Harris. Back to Robinson. No good on that shot. Charlie Collier with some nice D. And here's Burton. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Pass to Collier. No luck on that one. And so the Fever will take it the other way. Now here's Robinson. Hull with the ball. Here's the pick. There's the triple. 
Victoria Vivians on the wing. Robinson with the ball. And good that time. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Now here's Harris. Pass to Burton. The three. Drains it from beyond the arc. And Harris plays with such a strong basketball intellect, guys. Great job in finding the wide open teammate there. Outside, Vivians. Back to Robinson. Oh. There's a screen. Two minutes remaining. And here's Vivians. Launches a three. Here's Egbo. Tries again. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. And this is her first free throw of the game. Shooting for Indiana, Queen Egbo at the line for two. That one's off. Good on the second free throw. The wings trail. Thornton outside. Pass to Burton. Harris in the screen. For the tie. Burton gets the bucket. And that ties it up. She's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting that ball to the rim. Outside, Vivians. Robinson. Here's Engsler. Here's Egbo, covered by Collier. And she was camped there in the lane, and she gets the three-second call. Those, uh, those types of mistakes are magnified when it's a tight game like this. Pass to Harrison. Now here's Harris. For the lead, and again, it's the wings from deep. Nice to see Harris show up from long range. Her three ball really took off in her final year of college. Vivian's up top, covered by Thornton. Vivian's misses. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebounding stats uh, for both teams are almost identical. Yeah, they've battled to a standstill on the boards, but the game isn't over yet. We'll see who keeps up the energy. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first. Playing smart with the lead. Two-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Now Robinson. Eight points for her. Six on the shot clock. To stop the run. And foul hard that time, and she'll get two shots at the line. We know Robinson doesn't take loads of threes. She loves to live inside the line, rare for a modern guard. First trip to the free throw line for her in this one. And the first one drops. In this league, so many years, the experience Robinson brings to her team is invaluable. Sets a strong example for younger players to follow. Both good at the line. Oh. 
Three quarters of play and a close game here. It's the Wings leading by three. And after a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Well, this was some artistry right here. Great decision on where to go with the ball and a perfect delivery. And they'd love to see every possession end this way, Tim. It's true team basketball. It's just so much fun to watch. Okay, fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one with both sides coming to play so far. Pass to Gray. Fires from deep. The three-pointer is on target. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. You're right. Three of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. And here's Smith. Screen by Smith. Mitchell outside. Fires to three. The fever rebound. There's another opportunity. I mean, everything is going right for them. No good from 11 feet. Dallas in the lead. Here's Agumba Wale. Softly drops in the floater. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. Easy bucket in the paint. The interior defense at that end has been lifeless, to say the least. Now here's Vivian's. Banked in off the glass. Nice low post offense. So it's Dallas now. Gray outside. Takes the three. And again, it's the wings from deep. And guys, her consistent shooting, it's helped them take this lead. Pass to Smith. Vivians, Gray defending. Back to Smith. Clock at six. And there's a pick. Mitchell. Good. And the assist goes to Melissa Smith. She is starting to heat up from outside. That's her second three ball of the half. Outside of Gumawale. Offensive rebound. And she gets it to go as they call the foul. She's on her way to the line for one more. The bonus point available for Harrison. Great fight shown on the hoop. So both teams changing it up here. One shot. When we talk about Isabel Harrison, she's a player who buys into her role. A talented forward who plays to her strengths. Now here's Henderson. It's Tiffany Mitchell on the wing. Mitchell beyond the arc. And the fever hit again from deep. They're giving her a little too much space out there. That's her third three-pointer since halftime. Side of Gumbawale. And another miss by Dallas. The fever trailing. Now here's Henderson. Mitchell outside. Let's go with a three. Satu Sabali comes up with the board. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Now, here's Smith. Pass to Henderson. Mitchell, Mabry covering. Now, here's Mitchell. She's covered closely. Some solid defense from Satu Sabali. Yeah, she's been off her game this quarter. Just hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go down. Now, Harrison. Arena Mabry for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. 
Their three-point shooting really since halftime has been about as good as you could ask for. And now's the time for them to step on the gas pedal. You know, put your blinker on, get into the fast lane, and keep firing those deep balls and build that lead up. Watch the speed limit, though. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Henderson. Six to shoot. Here's the three. A rebound by Gray. You don't want to give up that kind of look often. They're very lucky they didn't get burned. Arike Agumboale on the wing. Covered by Henderson. To the paint. The kick out to Agumboale. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by the Fever. Eventually, I think she'll start knocking those down again. Pass to Smith. Henderson. Mitchell left side. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Everyone knows that Kelsey Mitchell can score. So the question is, defensively, how do you slow her down? Well, tonight, they really had no answers. Now here's Agumba Wale. Now Gray. She's covered by Mitchell. Sabali the screen. Alicia Gray, and that's good. We didn't see much from her the first half, but she's making up for lost time. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Henderson with it. Guarded now by Agunda Wale. Pass to Mitchell for three. That shot off. The wings go the other way with it. Enrique Agumboale on the wing. Covered by Henderson. Outside Mabry. And the call will be against Kelsey, Kelsey Mitchell. Mitchell. That's foul number Second two for foul. her. Second team foul. Checking in for Dallas. Tierra McCowan. to Sabali. Gray. Marina Mabry on the wing. And the three off target. Well, despite her ineffectiveness, the team has found other scoring options. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. Shoots from the right block. Tried to bank it in, but misses. Pass to Gumbawale. Tries to break her ice. And foul called as she misses. And she's going to shoot the free throws. That one on Henderson. Pretty incredible stat here. As a rookie in 2019, Arike Ogumbawale led the league in free throw attempts. It's part of why she's an elite scorer. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for her. In just her second year in the league, Arike Ogunbowale won the scoring title during the 2020 Wubble season, averaging just about 23 points per game. And so she makes both from the line. Now to win that scoring title in 2020, Agunbowale turned it on down the stretch of that season. Yeah, over the last four games, Arike averaged just about 30 points per game, holding off that year's MVP in Asia Wilson. Arike, leading the league in points at just 23 years old, what an accomplishment. This quarter has brought out the best in her, and even though they're still trailing, she has been impossible to contain. Now here's Agunbowale. It's hauled in by Cannon. She has been anything but her usual self this quarter. It's been ugly. Watches it. 
screens the three-pointer. They've got a dynamic playmaker in Henderson. I mean, she's got the vision to always spot open teammates. Now here's a Kubawale. Pass to Sabalu. And so she earns a trip to the line. Uh, official saw the contact. And she'll shoot two. And it's going to be on Melissa Smith. At the line for the Wings. Saw two, Sabalu. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. An exciting young talent with an incredibly high ceiling. I envision Satu Sabali making a major impact in this league. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. We're still waiting for their first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon. Timeout called the Fever. Here's Mitchell. Mabry covering. And here is Mitchell. Lays it up and banks it in. You'll see her hit from very deep, but, but she isn't a one-trick pony. Mitchell has the skills plus toughness to score inside, too. Now here's a Wale. Outside Mabry. The three. Good on the three-point shot. Fantastic pass. She made that a very easy bucket with the setup. Mitchell with it. Free throw line jumper. The rebound by Gray. Dallas leading. Arena Mabry for three. Alyssa Smith grabs the miss. Mitchell outside. Rebound by the Wings. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Outside of Gumbawale. Pass to Sabali. And she drops in the layup. Off glass. Well, Sabali can operate in either role of the two-player game. You just saw her role, but she can also handle the rock. She's just so versatile. Now here's Mitchell. To the middle. Here's Smith. First person to foul, team's first. First team foul. Shooting for your Indiana Fever. 
Melissa Smith taking two shots. He hits the first one, and that brings them within 10. That one falls, so she hits both of them. Dallas with the ball. Side Mabry. Up top of Gumbawale. Pass to McCowan. Off target at the rim. Smith outside. Second shot opportunity. She can't get it to go. And it's the Wings ball. They've got a nine-point lead. Here's Mabry. Foul call that time on the way up, and that'll give her two chances at the free throw line. Third personal foul. A tough task for defenders. Mabry looks to punish you. At the line for the wings. Marina Mabry taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on the first, and that'll push their lead to double digits. Well, every single team in this league wants a Marina Mabry. She's got a tremendous three-point shot, and Marina, a great teammate as well. And that's good as she hits both shots. No mistakes there, and I think you can close the book on this one, guys. Here's Robinson. Pass to hole. The three is up. Doesn't go that time. And so it's Dallas easily grabbing this one. And in the end, a comfortable win in what was a pretty hostile environment. Yeah, you know, it's never going to be easy uh, on the road. They didn't have too many problems tonight. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.